I love when we get to that point every year when each case back to back to back to back is a hit. I mean, just last case, we had GRC Lady McQueen and Francesco. You had Jason Roadkey and Jessica Carville, the Metal Komodo variant. Here we are back with another Tokyo Mater variant in Manji. Two more new GRC racers, Shu to the Roki and Carlo Veloso. New clown, Van Campbell. Justin Roadrider is hiding back there. The next case, we know we get two more GRCs in Raul and Jackson Storm. Barney Cones from the Salt Fever episode. And also Yakuza, another Tokyo Mater variant. I remember this happened last year. Started off a little slow with case A and B. Case F and E are always a little slow as well. But then, bam! You get slammed with Adam Rodriguez, Wes Flappis, Pit Stop Asaurus, Johnny Blamer, Misty Motocrass, Randy Mato, the list goes on. So, very happy to be in that stage of the game right now. I just wish these cases were more readily available across the world. Let's do a little check. Case J was scheduled for July 1st, and while it kind of hit that date in Australia, not anywhere else. Oh, and Greece, of course, because, yeah, I'm sorry for any Greek fans out there, but... I just am shocked that Greek has been such an epicenter for new releases lately. But yeah, the U.S. has still yet to get cases H or J at any major retailer. Case J here is only available in Greece and Australia. Case H, Australia, Greece, Mexico, and Canada. So basically everywhere except for the U.S. And so I want to reach out and thank Astro Smokey for hooking me up with all of these. He's basically an Australian version of me. So check him out on YouTube. Basically a cooler version of me because he's got such a fun accent. But yeah, we're practically going to be unboxing the case. Unfortunately, I would if I could, but just no one has it for sale. I mean, simply put, no U.S. retailer has this case, okay? So we're basically going to go through all of the cars like we normally would during an unboxing. And we're going to start, as we always do, with the least of the case and work our way up to the best. And yeah, one of the least favorites, for me at least, is the Rusty's Dynaco Cruz Ramirez here. The cars on the road version of her. And there is only one in this case, thankfully. I do have the list next to me right here, so we'll be able to do quantities. But yeah couple renames of her and they finally settled on Rusty's Dynaco which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me but hey we will roll with it on the back it's just kind of jarring to see Cruz Ramirez with a bunch of these random on the road characters but like I said she is technically an on the road variant so that is why you have you know some of these older on the road characters I do think they finally update the card backs to reflect some of the newer releases yep they do thank god because a lot of this stuff is you know kc through e which we've already been through so basically what i'm trying to say is when you're holding some of these new cars you're not going to be finding the old stuff that is shown on the back which is just bad marketing in my opinion all right let's move on to a couple grc lightning mcqueens yeah there are two more grc mcqueens in this case which is a third better than last case where there were three, but it's the same as next case and the case after that where there are two more and then another two and then another two. Yeah, that's right. Actually, case KLM all have two more GRC McQueens. But still a brand new release and a top 10 release for the year in my opinion. That's going to be kind of wild that one of the biggest peg warmers over the last half of the year and yeah, he's already starting to peg warm in Australia will be like a top 10 release like when does that ever happen like such a good release is produced so much that he peg warms it doesn't really happen all that often but on the back here you do have grc mcqueen and francesco shown again you have the cutout in all of the grc cards whether it be a two-pack or a single which is really nice it just kind of differentiates them and makes them a little more special which i'm a big fan of super here for that and while we're on the topic of the GRCs here, there is a GRC Francesco in this case. But as you know, I only got one out of case H from Astro Smokey and I opened it up and reviewed it for you guys. So that's why we do not have it in the package to show again. But you can check out my individual review of him for any details you would like to know about GRC Francesco. He is pretty awesome, but you know maybe not quite as cool as GRC McQueen himself. All right, let's move on to Manny Flywheel, the purple N20 Cola racer from Cars 1. He did find his way into this case here. 
I review them a few months ago as this was a Thailand variant. Not the first time he was released from Thailand, but the first time that I got around to reviewing him from Thailand. It's all right. He's fine. Bunch of early 2024 releases here on the back and Hauling Gas, Sally, Sheriff, Lay McQueen, Fillmore, and Mayer with the working toe While we're on the topic of these guys, Sheriff is in this case. There is one Sheriff in the case. The reason why I'm making a big deal about it is because I don't actually have the 2024 Sheriff in the package. And I realized this was because I only have gotten half cases of the cases that he's been in. And he's not in the half cases, being case A and D. I only got half cases. I don't think I got, did I even get a case A? I think I did, but it was a half case for sure. And so I didn't get him. And then when I have found the full case D at Target, I just never thought to pick him up because he is such a basic release. And I have him like a hundred times over, just not in the new 2024 packaging, but it probably is pretty identical to the 2023 packaging because I think he was released with the uh, you know, red behind the blister at the end of last year. So I do want to point that out. And that actually comes up again here with Cryptid Buster Mater, which is a great inclusion in this case. Phenomenal. He was only prior in case A for the year. Now he was released last year in case H, but one of the rare releases. I did finally find one at Target not too long ago, actually. Target was getting in some case H's in like February, March, April. I was able to grab one, but I still do not have a 2024 Cryptid Buster Mater because he was not in the half cases of case A and he's actually not even in the half case J. So I will still struggle to get him probably as the time goes on. So yeah, I don't know. Case A. Yeah. How did I miss him though? Because I ended up, I got Randy and Mato from case A. Oh. So many variants, so many package variants that just make things difficult. But yeah, this is a great release. One of the rarer like carryovers from 2024. Because Pit Stop Asaurus certainly is not that rare. Gearston Marshall, some of those other new on the road carryovers. But this guy most definitely is. And he deserves it. He is a top 10 release in my opinion from last year, that is. All right, moving right along. We do have one Rusty's Lightning McQueen in the case. No biggie. This guy's on a mint card. But <laughs> does that make him any more valuable? No. And yeah, some other early Cars 3 releases. Vusing Racing Tractor is in a similar boat to Crypto Buster Mater as he was only in that case A and not in the half case, which is just a killer. You have Heyday Smokey over there, Eric Breaker, who is in this case. Bill, Rusty's Cruise, also in the case, Jackson Storm. So... We will get to those here momentarily. Why not Eric Breaker next? Now, here you go. The Synergy Next Gen, Eric Breaker, looking good. There is one of him in the case. Is that a hair? Let's get that out of there. I do want to do a Thailand review on this guy, so keep your eyes out for him. I haven't done too many Next Gen Thailand reviews over the last few years, so I want to kind of pick up my slack on that. I did do Barry the Pedal, so you can expect Eric Breaker and Harvey Rodcap over the next few months here to come out on the channel. But yeah, same card back, just replaced with Rusty's Lightning McQueen there. There is one Fillmore in the case as well. Hefty Fillmore. Fillmore puts Jessica Carville to shame because he is so heavy and definitely like worth the value of the $5 and the $3.72 at Tart or Walmart. Jessica Carville is like probably one sixth the weight of Fillmore, maybe not even because he is hefty. Yeah, so good thing that he is in this case. I will never complain about a Fillmore. You do have one Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen in this case, which was a new Thailand variant at the beginning of the year and a pretty nice one being the chrome red metallic that he is. But yeah, they have released him quite a lot over the first half of the year. So he isn't anything too scarce. On the back, you do have Todd the Pizza Planet Truck making a little cameo in there. Yeah, good stuff all around. Haven't seen too many pad warming. So even though they've released him a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, it hasn't been that big of a problem. They do have Holly Schiffel in this case. 
<clears throat> excuse me, guys. Not a whole lot to say here. She has been released quite a lot over the last couple years now. And yeah, on the back, it just shows McQueen with racing wheels and Otis, the only other two Cars 2 releases at the time of her release earlier in the year. They do update this, which I am happy about, when they put out Finn McMissile. Believe it or not, this is the first 2024 case that Finn McMissile has been included in. And yeah, you could tell by the new card with the red behind the blister there. That is indicative of 2024 because he did not get a release like this last year. It just had the white behind the blister. And on the back, you do have Holly and Artist Ramon added here, so that's nice. The Cars 2 pool is getting a little more beefed up. But yeah, no, good stuff there. I like how they staggered them to... Come on. <laughs> I like how they staggered them to make it fill the space, even though there's still like an awkward empty space there. But yeah, it looks good. Happy to snag a Fillmore. A Finn McMissile. And it's also cool to me that... He's in the same case as Holly Shiftwell. Like it just kind of feels like an unspoken two-pack almost, like when these two are together. Even though they've never been released in a two-pack together, they are like bound at the hip. Like you can't, I can't really see one without the other. Like they are just the faces of Cars 2, and I'm so glad that they're both in the same case here today, Case J. There is one Otis in this case as well. So there you go. One-eighth of the case is devoted to Cars 2, three of 24 which is rare these days. It is quite rare. Yeah, there was only one Finn McMissile, I believe, looking at my list. Yeah, only one, so then three of 24. Yep, one eighth. That's pretty good, honestly, for today's day and age. <clears throat> I like Otis a lot, but he has been included in, I think, three cases this year. Case A, Case E, and now Case J. But yeah, really nice. Poor Otis and McQueen just hanging out solo dolo on the back, though. <laughs> Although, Finn and Holly would kind of intimidate me if I had to hang out with them. That would be an odd hangout sesh. All right, moving right along, there are two Allen Aiken Axlers in this case. Now, why don't I have this one in the package, Mr. Dockett? Well, when I got in case F of 2024 singles, there was only one Aiken in it. I opened it up for the title and review, and here he is. And I have yet to find a full case F. My friend here, this is the story. My friend found a case F remnant. So like super picked over and I was only able to extract a Corey Turbowitz from it and was not able to find Aiken or DJ with Flames. So yeah, that's the reason I still don't have an Alan Aiken Axler package, which kind of sucks because I probably would have included him in the thumbnail of this video and I would have liked to, but I couldn't. But yeah, there are two of them in this case, so yeah, I probably won't have that issue going forward all that much. All right, there is also one fabulous Lady McQueen in this case. Nothing too special there. It's a lot of different, very diverse McQueen selection in this case. You have Rusty's Fabulous Radiator Springs, GRC times two, so was that five McQueens in the case? Something like that. I misspoke. Rusty's Cruise is not in this case. I was thinking of the last case. But yeah, there you go. Are we almost on to the new stuff? I'm so tired of all this old crap, to be honest. I don't know. It's not crap, but you guys know what I'm saying. I'm just anxious to get on to the new stuff, so let's just do it, eh? There are two Mangies in this case. This is Mangie's first time being released from Thailand, as it is with pretty much any Tokyo Mayor character they've released over the last couple years now. While they don't have special artwork for him because he's a single, you do have nice Tokyo Mater, very nostalgic of how they used to do the tune releases in 2010 and honestly 2013 to 2015, where Manji did get a couple releases, one being in a three pack where he did receive a variant. So now we have three total Manji variants to compare when I review him here soon because yeah, I definitely want to do a video on him. And it's nice, there's two in the case, because I think he will be pretty popular. He's a very awesome casting. Uh, and yeah, the corner here, you could see the Tokyo Mater snipe. And yeah, 
Cars tune. They updated it with Komodo there, who does even look metallic in the stock image. So just further proving my point that they intentionally made him that way, and it just wasn't you know spontaneous combustion. But I still am a little frambommel that they're including all these 2023 releases. I mean, all four of these, Ido San, Kabuto with Flames, Patoka, and Drift Party Mather, are not included at all in this calendar year of releases. They are last year's releases. So it's almost like they view the Cars Tune line within the main line as separate from the main line. Like, does that make sense? It's like we're releasing them in the main line, but we're not necessarily providing boundaries on when they're being released. Like the Cars 2 line within the main line is in like its own world. It's its own thing. So that's why we don't feel bad about putting all these old releases on here where they never usually would do that. Like if you look at, I mean, some of the Cars 3 releases like Fabulous Lady McQueen, is Fabulous Lady McQueen going to show <laughs> Breaker Boggs on the card back? No, like, cause that was last year. But this year, for Tokyo Mater stuff, I guess they don't really care. Plus, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They could put Manji and Yakuza on there, like the three of them. Komodo, Manji, Yakuza, call it a day. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe try a different tune as well. How's that sound, Mattel? Yeah, two in the case, which I am quite pleased about. So I can open one and keep one packaged. What else are there two of in this case? Carla Veloso in the GRC paint shop. She looks great. I have always liked Carl Veloso as one of my favorite World Grand Prix racers, but for whatever reason, I didn't think that she would be one of my favorites in the GRC line. But as time has gone on and I've opened up Shu, I've opened up Francesco, I have not been impressed with them. Francesco let me down a little bit. I honestly thought he could be my favorite, but I honestly think it might be Carla. That wing is incredible. I love that it's yellow. There's so much detailing going on there. So yeah, I love the wheels as well. She looks great. So maybe she'll be my favorite, but glad that they did her early because she always kind of was one of the more prominent racers in the World Grand Prix, one of the better ones. You know, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but the way they marketed the World Grand Prix and the racers back in 2011, the way they're kind of shown in the movie, I mean, Carla did come in third in the Tokyo race, but there was like two groups. You had McQueen, Francesco, Carla, Raul, Jeff, and Shu, and Nigel. Nigel is like the breaking point. And then your second group was Max Chanel, Miguel Camino, Rip Klitschkonski, and Lewis Hamilton. Maybe it's just the order they released them, which that is kind of the order they released them. Even though the way they did the launchers was almost like the inverse. Like they did the back half of those launchers, and then they released like Carla, Francesco, Jeff, and... Raul's launchers later and they all ended up being super rare it's very weird but like they kind of split the world grand prix racers into two groups i don't know i'm just crazy and they're kind of doing it again here i mean all the ones i just listed in that first group except for nigel will have been released first and then they're doing max schnell and miguel camino like am i crazy i don't think i'm crazy but yeah no grc car looks awesome Love that they include the eight there. And on the back, you could see McQueen, Francesco, and Shu. But yeah, like I said, Raul is the next one after her. Unless that two-pack with Jackson and Miguel somehow sneaks out first, which I highly doubt. All right, next up in the case is Van Campbell here. Actually, I think I am, he might be my favorite from the case, which usually I would not opt for a clown to be my favorite. Like, row that marker. I mean, like, if row that marker was in a case with a bunch of other cars. Like, Kelly Beanbright, not my favorite in her case last year. But Van's pretty awesome. Not only does it seem like he's named after the head coach of the Detroit Lions, Dan Campbell, but I love his expression looking off to the side there. He is one of the few clowns that they've released from the, like, teal paint job grouping. Again, two groups of clowns, if you notice. There's the ones with, like, the pink swirly polka dot designs claire gunzer Rhoda marker kelly beam bright greebles but then you have hollem haynes and the plane and a van campbell here who have the teal paint job that are a different group and i'm pretty sure it is the delineation between males and females within the circus as that's just kind of something that circuses do 
like a uniform is designated for males and a uniform is designated for females. And my theory holds true because Van Campbell would be a male name. So yeah, I love how the like expression matches the art. I think that's awesome. And yay, finally they update the card back here on the back with some of the newer releases. They still, <laughs> Deputy Hazard McQueen with Slime remains, President Mater from Case E remains, but you do have Jessica Carville from Case H, Jason Roadkey Case H, and then you have Tony Motorfeld and Chris Freightman from Case G. So keeping up with the times a little bit more, very appreciative of that. I do think they probably could have tossed Justin Roadrider on the back here to be even more up to date, but hey, they wanted Mater and McQueen to have some presence still on the back. Speaking of Justin Roadrider, here he is. Now you guys remember, I did review him from his two-pack with Ken and Ginoki a couple weeks ago. However, this is a complete new variant. Like, this is all I gotta say. There's only one of those yellow little projectiles in the car's universe. And if it's in his weapon, it couldn't have been on his Ken and Ginoki's forehead, on his windshield. So that means that this version does not have it loaded in the barrel. So that means this version's a complete new variant. And they took it one step further by giving him a new expression as well, which is just incredible. Guys, this is one of the best things that Mattel has done in forever. And it's also like one of the smallest things that people will completely gloss over and it will go unnoticed for many. But this is powerful. This is smart. This is a little sneaky. I just love it. Like, why would they do this? No clue. I mean, is GRC Shoot to the Roki any different from the two-pack version of him? No. Did they have to do this? Absolutely not. But it is a great move. It incentivizes people to buy both. It's so crafty, so clever. And it is one of the best things, like one of the best decisions that Mattel has made in a while. And it just doesn't feel like something they would do. Like it really doesn't. And I hate to say that, but based on what they have done and shown us over the last few years, they take shortcuts. I mean, they don't even go to the lengths to tell us that it's Miles Axarod with microphone via the name tag or the artwork. And so you have both on the pegs at the same time. They look the exact same aside from the little piece right there. Now, you could say, well, Mr. Docket, they're not differentiating between Justin Roadrider single and Justin Roadrider in the two-pack. And that's true, which is why I say this is sneaky. Like, no one expected this. They didn't have to do it. And I find almost like it would have been harder to differentiate this one, Justin Roadrider with projectile, like, I don't know, how do you say that? And they don't like referring to weapons in their names anyways. That's why you got Holly Shiftwell with, taser. wait, no, not taser. It's not a taser, it's an electroshock device. Yeah. So anyways, enough glazing. This car is awesome. I am going to review him by himself, even though I just reviewed him. He deserves his own time. But yeah, new for 2024. He's got a new expression. He's got the projectile. He looks absolutely incredible. And on the back, you have the exact same cars we were just looking at for Van Campbell. Okay, where are we at here? We're at GRC Shoe to the Roki. I'm just looking at my list to see if there were any other doubles that I missed. But I think we got them all. There are only doubles of GRC Carla, Aiken, and Manji. So yeah, that leaves one GRC Shoe to the Roki who is in a two-pack with GRC McQueen. However, yeah, like I said, I mean, he's exactly the same as the two-pack version. And I wouldn't expect them to change it. It's kind of funny, though, that that two-pack case, you know, features GRC McQueen and Shu and Ken Janoki and Justin Roadrider. And then the singles, like Shu and Justin, are both in the same case again. So it's like very correlational. The two pack case with this singles case. But yeah, good stuff all around. GRC shoe I already reviewed, so we won't be indulging ourselves again. And on the back, you do have Carla now included with McQueen and Francesco. So I think I showed everyone that is all for this video. What the hell else do I have to say? Nothing. Besides, what is your favorite? release from this case. 
I think Carlo Veloso will battle it out with Van Campbell. But hey, Justin Roadrunner should not be slept on just because he was released already in the two pack. And Manji's pretty awesome as well. I will tell you it cannot be shoe for me. I'm not big on GRC shoe. But yeah, it's either one of these. Van Campbell or GRC Carla. They look fantastic. Or maybe you're just a big Finnick Missile guy. Who knows? Either way, thank you as always for watching. I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye now. Oh, come on.